All right, Curter the Kid here, and a little tutorial, not really tutorial, but more of like a rant about mech mods. Some single 18 650 mech mods. So, I see on social media all the time of people with these mech mods. Sorry, I gotta adjust my camera here. Sorry. People with these mech mods, or whatever, posting pictures of them fucking missing teeth, bloodied up mouth, and just all fucked up. And they, they always say shit like, oh, I used to vape, now I don't. After this accident, now I don't. Well, you know what? That's good. We don't need retards like you guys vaping and hurting the vape community. It's as simple as that. If you don't know Ohm's Law, you don't know how to build, you don't know what batteries you're using, the amperage those batteries can handle, don't fucking use a mech mod. Use a regulated mod. As simple as that. There's plenty of regulated mods out there that will hit just as hard as a mech mod. It's 20 fucking 17 Use a regulated mod if you're fucking dumb. If you do know what you're doing, all the power to you. Use a mech mod. If you don't know how to check your batteries for tears to make sure they're not going to fucking short out. Like this is just a copper tube. That's all that is. Copper is very, or has a very, very, very low resistance to it. That's why all the good mech mods are made out of copper. And if you do not understand that a tear in your battery will short it out and vent it, then don't use a mech. Don't even vape, actually, at that point. Do not vape. Go back to cigarettes. You're better off. If you do realize that these tears can be fixed in your batteries and you check your batteries before you use them and you understand how the batteries work then use mech mods use regulated mods use whatever mods you want it'll be just fine i don't know it, it pisses me off and then it, it it all gets put onto social media and so many people are like oh well vaping is bad for you it's way more harmful than smoking you know what you have more of a chance of fucking getting injured Every day you wake up and get into your car and drive with the fucking idiots on the road that don't have their fucking headlights on when it's five in the morning. Way more of a chance of fucking getting hurt than vaping. If anything, vaping saves lives. Let's see how many people per year in Canada alone die from cancer from tobacco. In the hundreds of thousands. How many people have died from vaping? Zero. Then the whole myth on popcorn lung. With diacetol, acetol, if I'm pronouncing those right. You have more chances of getting popcorn lung smoking cigarettes. There is, I think, 20 times more diacetol in a single cigarette than there is in a whole bottle of vape juice. That's why it's regulated. You can't get popcorn lung. The whole theory on popcorn lung was there were workers in a popcorn factory and if for those of you who don't know, diacetol is the ingredient or the chemical made in your popcorn. That's what gives it the buttery flavor. And two of those cases of popcorn lung were workers in a popcorn facility where there's two inches, two fucking inches of diacetyl on the walls in a powder form. You know what? If it were any other chemical, like the chemicals in cocoa, it'd call, be called fucking cocoa lungs. That's exactly what it would be. These people fucking... Hurt my mind is what it is. And you know what? 
when I see all this stuff on the social media of just ignorance, it fucking pisses me off like you wouldn't believe. Like, I'm generally a pretty calm guy, but this shit bugs me. Bugs me. It hurts. It hurts our vaping industry huge. Next thing you know, the government's going to try to take a step in and regulate the fuck out of it. Unlike what they do with cigarettes. All they did with cigarettes is put a warning label on it, which all of our juices have warning. You guys can't even see that because of the light. All of them have warnings. That's what they do for cigarettes. Put a warning label on it. Still sell them every day. Multi-billion dollar companies. They're just selling smoke, selling smokes, killing people left, right, and center. But they can still sell. Vaping has never, ever killed anyone. But they want to put... they Well, they want to put taxes on it and classify it the same as smoking. There's no no combustion here. We are warming up a piece of wire with electricity and heating up a liquid that causes a vapor. The ingredients in vape juice are the same as in your fog machines, in your puffer inhalers, and even the flavorings. I don't even, okay. This is a vanilla cookie. Sorry, this light is way too much. Vanilla cookie by 510. The vanilla is pretty much the exact same vanilla as in your grandma's fucking, I don't even know what grandma would put vanilla in, a fucking cake. Same thing, exact same thing. And they're trying to say that When you heat it up, it's carcinogenic. Well, guess what? Grandma's been making carcinogenic fucking cake for the last 80 years of her life. Fog machines. We heat up propylene glycol, vegetable glycerin, make fog. That's carcinogenic. Like, what the fuck? I don't know where people get their facts from. It's probably just a whole bunch of fake facts. Fiction, as if you want to call it. So, I don't want to keep rambling on, because I just get all fucking worked up. Start hitting the uh, 16 milligram nick juice. Mellow me out a bit. But, uh, you know what? Before you guys want to believe that vaping's bad for you or you can get seriously hurt well you actually you can get seriously hurt if you don't know what you're doing if you do know what you're doing then chances are you're not gonna get hurt it's like riding a bike if you know what you're doing you're not gonna get hurt if you don't know what you're doing you're not gonna have a very good time so you know what i'm gonna wrap that up if you guys have any questions or anything comment in the comment section down below and I will be able to answer them if not I will be able to guide you in the direction of somebody or some article that can answer those questions so remember guys vape the best don't settle for the rest Herder the kid here signing off peace out